Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Enjoying this wonderful pizza from Slice on Broadway. The people in Pittsburgh that provide good pizza to podcasters. Ethan? Benji? Open the door! Open the door! Yeah, I'm trying. Oh my god! Hello, Internet. Today is March 24th, 2015, and this is the Rambling Movie Minute, where we talk movies, TV, things we watch and screens in front of our faces. I am Malango at Rambling Mango, and as usual, we have Sorg of Sorgatron Media. Here I am, ready to talk some movies, have some fun. I've watched a few movies over the weekend and TV and such, so I'm really excited to get into this this week. Malango. Nice. I'm just going to keep the uh, the circle going round and round. Also in studio with you is Ashley. How's yeah. it going, Ashley? Good. How are you? Um, I'm doing well. Hey. It's Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It's time Speaking to ramble. Of, uh, yeah. It's, yes. <laughs> I, like, I like the fact that we're incorporating the tagline and everything. Absolutely. Because it's Tuesday, we decided to reach out to our New York connection. <laughs> Mad Mike. Aloha, cousin. <laughs> yes, oh, <no>. yes. <laughs> I, 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 um, uh, for, for those of you who don't recognize that reference, that was Stitch from the movie Lilo and Stitch. Um, because a- Ashley changed her Twitter profile to a picture of Lilo alone dying. And, oh no! Um, no, no, it's it's a good picture. It's a, uh, and I told her that I would do my Stitch impression on the show, and that's my Stitch impression. So I will talk about like. I will talk about movies like this for the rest of the show, Sorg. Oh, this will be a fan. No, no, punch not buggy. really. <laughs> Hello, punch, punch buggy. Punch buggy. Do it. I can't do I it as well as you. I dare you to do it. No, you're just going to have to throw those in sporadically throughout the show. That's fair. Remember, okay, oh, just, yeah. just just a little bit here and yeah, exactly. here and there. Wait, wait, yes. were, we, were we talking about this picture? Oh, my, I got so Malengo yes, and yeah. Stitch. It'll be good. <laughs> what is happening there? I used, I used Everything to have great. A uh, stuffed animal. I was gonna like flash it, and every time I flash it, you would have to talk in that voice. It'll be for audio. Anyways, I don't that. <laughs> <laughs> intros aside. Hey, guys, we're gonna get a Mission Impossible five this year. That's okay. This summer, <laughs> I'm okay with that. It's called Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. But um, bump directed by Christopher. I'm not even going to say his last name, but we're getting all of our awesome actors back. By awesome, I mean Tom Cruise's crooked teeth. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what the hell? That's how that's how my art teacher described it. So it's stuck. Who's in my crooked head. teeth? <laughs> to Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise has crooked teeth. Yes, his front tooth is off center. Oh. Sorry. I, know. I believe that's from all the Scientology. Now you. <laughs> Uh, Jeremy Reiner, uh, awesome. It's kind of weird that both of these two are playing in the, in the movie together again because they're both pretty strong action. Jeremy Renner's going to be making a lot of money this summer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's going to be making a lot of money. Wasn't he the b- new Bourne as well? Yep. Yep. And he's going to be, oh, he's coming back in that as well. He's going with the original Bourne. Matt yep. Damon. Matt Damon. Oh, Matt geez. Damon. Oh, geez. He's like Mr. Action Movie lately. That's great. Is it weird and that yet, when I think of Jeremy Renner, I just go to North Country with Charlie Theron? <laughs> 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 it's not the Hurt Locker. It's not, it's not Born. It's North Country. And he's good in it, too. He's a creep, but he's good. So, anyways, this trailer. <laughs> I, I gotta say, I, I'll watch it. I like Mission Impossible, especially the last couple of movies they've done. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not particularly... Uh, I said this on Twitter. Ghost Protocol, I saw in the theater. Um, well, I saw it in the theater, and I saw the trailer for it uh, kind of as a surprise in the trailer uh, in the theater. And, uh, and, and and I wanted to punch the guy in front of me. I was so excited. Like, it was just like, <laughs> yes! That was great! And it was, and it was a lot of fun, and I thought the movie really, really did pay off. I'm not getting any of that vibe from this trailer. It's just like, it's an impossible. Here's a bunch of stunts. Here's a little bit of Fuji's. Yeah. You, didn't, you didn't get excited at the end when they even did the, the theme music? 
the <laughs> or uh, I guess that that helps. They you slightly did somebody. the like like you. There's a certain point when a th- with a Mission Impossible where you're like, is this Mission Impossible or is it something other we- other thing weird like Jack Reacher that you're kind of looks like a Mission Impossible. Like you're not sure until they say Mr. Hunt and you get the the theme music and you get those little bugs. You're like, oh. What is this? Is it another Mission Impossible? It is! Yes, it is! Like, it builds you up to that. Um, it, if know. you can't recognize a Mission Impossible movie right away, though, is it really Mission but Impossible? But they're so different! They're so, did you watch the second one? No. <laughs> it was directed by John Woo. Doves and karate all have, over the I place. I might have actually seen it and just completely blocked it from my memory. A great Limp Biscuit soundtrack on there, by the way. Okay, this, then I probably Ghost Protocol thought. was good. <laughs> I like Ghost Protocol. Oh, I love Pro- Ghost Protocol. I thought it was great. The the stuff in Dubai was tremendous. It was just a lot, a lot of fun. And even three, I think, I think, I don't think a lot of people are really up on three, but I really enjoyed it. Um, since Bad Robot, anything I see a Bad Robot fr- a logo in front of, I'm immediately interested in. Oh, yeah. oh. Just like anytime I see a Michael Bay production company logo in front of it you cringe i know i'm automatically skeptical <laughs> and my expectations <laughs> are in a certain a level it's I like do. Is, I, this, I love it. is this gonna be bad boys or oh, is this gonna boys. be transformers or nothing yeah. has been bad boys since bad boys that's true yeah. bad also boys true. 2 well, bad did... boys 2 wasn't even bad boys that's true. Bad Boys, I, I like Bad Boys too. But Bad Boys was that a Michael Bay film? Tolerable. Was that still Michael Bay? Bad Boys. Yeah, too? I mean it still is. Well, then I also, so. also it he's not better. also directing a lot of them too. It's just his Producing, company. Just like yeah. Bad Robot isn't J.J. Abrams. He's just a producer on everything. But that's kind of okay. So, um, but I, that, 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 I, I don't know if I'll. When, when is this coming out? Uh, middle of the summer, sometime. Middle of the summer, of July. Uh, I actually got July 31st on the end of the trailer here. <laughs> Tickets of Fandango. Order them now because you know what you're doing on July 31st, right? Not seeing Not this. Seeing this. Not <laughs> seeing this. I have oh a feeling. God. I have a actually feeling. Drag you to this movie. I, I, I right, hope right. if I'm free, I will go see this. This is on my list. This is on my short list. If we do it as a group thing, Malango, I will go. Completely. I don't Kicking think and any screaming. other. Well, <laughs> yes. I'm just going to say Kicking yes. Kicking and that. screaming. Yeah, don't 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 count me for that movie. Um, I think I saw maybe the first two Mission Impossibles, and then after that, I'm like, oh, no. that's it. That's it. That's my challenge to you. You don't have to do it in the next week, but I want you to go through all the Mission Impossible movies and no. report back to me. No, hard pass. I got one. I can let you borrow on VHS. Uh, hold on. Let me uh, time. Let me use my TARDIS to go back to 1995 when I had a VCR. I have a VCR right there. I still have a VCR too. I never use it. You have to. You have to, just in case. Doug on the awesome cast, he has a VCR and he gets all these old tapes in like the quarter bin at Goodwill. And that's what he lets his kids go to town with. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm sorry. Belango? (laughs) Uh, Box office numbers. Divergent. I like the way it's just called the Divergent series because now that means we're going to get a lot more of these. In case Um, you weren't sure. Insurgent basically went gangbusters mm-hmm. this weekend, uh, fifty-two million, which is not where I thought they'd be. But then again, I'm not surprised. It was warm this weekend. No, actually, it snowed, didn't it? It did snow this weekend. <laughs> so, but that's gonna have a lot of rewatch value because of teenage angst. That's true too. That's true too. Um, uh, side note: uh, wife of the show. Do we call her that on this one? I sure, whatever. Uh, she uh, Missy saw this with uh, with her sister and uh, who did read the books and seemed pretty excited about. It. We do have a review over on uh, uh, time to ramble dot com, and uh, so go please check that out. Also, I did a John Wick one. We'll talk about that a little bit later. So, um, and it, you're pretty positive. So if you're into this kind of movie and you got nothing better to do, go go see it. Yeah, the second. Uh, uh, oh. I'm not. I'm not even going to care about Gunman because that didn't do good. Number two was Cil- uh, Cinderella. Ugh. Cinderella that came in number two with an actually that's really good numbers. Thirty four, like just shy of thirty five million. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you that Frozen short. Yeah, my boss it's was gonna, in it's town. Gonna keep it up there. My boss was in town and he said that this was actually not bad. Uh, that does not change my mind on going to see this movie. I, I, I still want to see it. see it. I want to see it. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, it was really good. Maybe I'll stick it in before Furious 7. 
it's going to be better than Furious 7. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Because guess what? We all know the ending of Furious 7. Wait. What? Paul Walker you dies. it. Ah. <laughs> You always bitch. bring back Paul Walker as a 3D. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Paul Walker dies. I'll do it as Stitch, so it's a little bit friendlier. Oh, there you go. Yeah. You just ruined 8, 9, and 10 for me. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Well, it's okay. Um, I don't think that series will nine, ever stop. 9 is just going to be Tokyo Driftier. <laughs> <laughs> Driftier. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Oh, man. All right. Um. So... Super Troopers. They want your money so that they can make Super Troopers 2. <laughs> I love I, your presentation for these stories, I, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks. No no bearing the lead or anything. Just like, yeah, they want your money. What's up? They want your money. <laughs> he tells it like it is. <laughs> I have way better things to spend money on. I have exactly not enough things better than Super Troopers 2 to spend my money on. Um, I, I thought it was always interesting with the Veronica Mars and there was the Garden State, whatever, nothing I, could, I cared about to get behind. This, I can get behind. Because uh, Super Troopers is up there with me for early Kevin Smith movies and Office Space for classic movies. Again, bringing back to high school, just like the Fugees. Um, I'm completely cool with uh, seeing another one of these. And I think these guys still got it. And these guys are all over the place, too. Mike, 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 Mike. It's been forever since I've seen the first one, but I remember enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was hysterical. So I'd well, the first one came out all the way back in 2001. So, yes, yes, 2001 was a years. good year for me, my friend. I mean, you got Mallrats being remade. You got this. I think it's the time. I think the, I think this is the 90s revival. I think creativity <laughs> is dying in Hollywood. <laughs> oh, that's been, a, that's been a problem since the 90s. So. Well, true. <laughs> well, you guys, they're only asking for $2 million, so, uh, you know, jump on that bandwagon. Oh, jump change. <laughs> jump Listen, change. If, if 50 they, bucks donation gives me DOS boot from Beer Fest, I'm in. I mean, they made a lot of money in four hours. They made 350000 Nice. So... I mean, that's saying something. Well, I mean, to be honest, this is it's not like they're funding the entire movie. I haven't read this over, but I presume that's usually not this, how this goes. It's usually a, hey, look, fans drummed up $2,000. That's money. That's a little bit of money that you guys don't need to give us as a studio. Well, at least it pays for catering maybe for a couple of days. Um, and, uh, you know, look, there's an interest. That's, that's This is just to prove there's an interest. They take it to somebody to fund the rest of it and do it the right way. And I think it's a, it's a great... Um, it's a great method for that kind of thing, you know. It's it's really kind of opening up that you know this movie may have not had a chance in hell otherwise, and uh, I think it's cool. The, the time is meow. I love their campaign. Um, sure, I, I think it's great. And there that's it. Fine. Then there's not enough people into it. So I don't know. I, it, it just seems like they like they tried to do a whole bunch of other movies after Super Troopers, and none of them did anything. Yep. So they were like, okay, so we kind of blew all of our money on Club Dread and Club Dreadier and whatever the hell the hell they made, and it's just like, all right, let's let's just remake the thing that got us popular in the first place. Makes sense. Uh, well, I think this next story is a little bit more, um, I don't know, interesting. I was I was trying to think of something catchy for uh, sci-fi. A, a sci-fi pun. Uh, but, Malengo uh, is out there, Malengo. Malengo, your your segue is out there. There you go. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, X Files. <gasps> so, oh, I heard a gas. This was yeah, from me. From the, <laughs> oh, the, I was <laughs> greeted by. Did you know X Files is coming back? When I walked in the door today, I'm like, what? Oh, <laughs> yes. What? Wait. What? <gasps> yes. Yes. <laughs> You're kidding me. X Files revival. David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson. To reprise roles on Fox. Is it like a mini series? Six episodes. Dang. Only six? I, I think it's just like it's a trial. To oh, see. oh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, when does it start? <laughs> I'm so excited right Blango, now. Blango, details. <laughs> details. Well, they actually said that uh, it, it might actually go to 13 episodes. Nice. Unless I read that wrong. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Chris Carter, the uh, creator, said this was basically a 13-year commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Wow. <laughs> He's very that... excited. Oh my gosh, so am I. They should just make um, every episode a Monster of the Week episode. Screw the conspiracies. I just want to see a Monster of the Week. The last movie was basically a Monster of the Week episode. The last movie from 08? From, yeah. Wasn't it? No, that one was weird. It was. It wasn't a conspiracy one. I know that. No, but it was. It had nothing to do with anything supernatural. It, right. What was it? Just. I can't even explain it because it just. It was. It, 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 were they in Alaska or they Dakota were, or something? Were they doing some sort of animal testing? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And it just. I don't know. I. I hated it. It was literally me, and my mom, and two other people in the theater. I was so excited to see it, and then so disappointed when it was over. Mm-hmm. Now the first movie is great. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, that one is that one's awesome. I would watch how that. How long? Over over. How long was X Files on? TV? Looks like about ten nine, years, nine, nine ten. seasons. They're saying here, yeah. which are all on Netflix. My wife is going back through them. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, but, I didn't watch a lot of the early ones because I just didn't have access to Fox at the time. Mm-hmm. I watched mm-hmm. the last few years, um, but yeah. watching those a little bit, like when she just has them on, it does not. Hold no, 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 no. You have mm. to go back and watch the beginning ones, the early ones. The Those early, are the best. Ones. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's interesting seeing the, some of the, you know, with any of these, seeing the actors that pop up, mm-hmm. but it just, some of the acting is just like god awful 90s. That's okay. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> it's acceptable. It but is. it's the same reason I had trouble getting into Buffy to try to go back and try to watch that one, too. Uh, but, so. No, go back. Watch all of the early episodes. Uh, all yeah, all of the early episodes of X Files. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell my brother. My brother was the biggest X Files fan. Seriously, we had like one of our bathrooms like dedicated to having posters and all kind of paraphernalia in it. You it got was a, amazing. You got a truth is out there right over the toilet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> um, yeah. So, so yeah, I did misread it. It's six episodes. Uh, I think Sorg, you said that, so that was correct. I am sorry, mm-hmm. uh, but. Two things that I'm a little, um, I don't know, concerned about. Fox, although Fox, you know, has been known to bring us some awesome sci-fi shows, um, they've also been known to cancel things rather quickly. So oh, I don't know. I think don't know they'll give. Works. I think they'll give this one a chance. Oh, yeah, uh, well, this, gonna... this already, this already has a pedigree. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they gave Gotham a second season. <laughs> <laughs> and no, I'm serious, it... people. Watch Batman. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't, uh, we'll end up on Yahoo's screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, ar- this article was also comparing it to uh, NBC's 24, which had 13 uh, episodes. And I guess that did well enough for Fox to say, hey, why not no, try Fox, it? Fox did 24. Did they? Uh, it yeah, says, Fox, uh, NBC Fox has did. joined the mania. Oh. Yes, they said NBC has joined the mania by uh, resurrecting Heroes, Heroes. Reborn. Yeah. So it's just basically no original ideas are left, and we are just bringing things back. Well, well yeah. uh, Heroes, Heroes Reborn is going to be different because there's, n- there's none of the original cast. Mm-hmm. No, they're the... There's one, there's one, there's one there's member. One. There's one member of the original cast, but I, that's it. I think we'll see some people pop up, too. So Yeah. Well, it sounds like I will watch... Well, there are only six episodes, so yeah, I'll check it out. I'm excited. You need to check it out. It's a must. So the uh, awesome actress, Jennifer Lawrence, in her role in X-Men, has decided that after this next movie, uh, she will not be doing X-Men anymore. Hmm. She's tired I of that. I think that's a wait-and-see approach. I, I think she's just tired of that blue paint. I mean, that... I think, it can't uh, be good there was, for her skin. One of my visual effects sites that I, I go and reference... Uh, they did like a behind the scenes to that. And it was something ridiculous. Like it took her like twelve or something hours mm-hmm. to get into the full costume. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. would suck. I believe it. I you remember when when um remember when Robert Downey Jr. said he was done with Iron Man. Remember when Hugh Jackman said he was done with Wolverine. <laughs> um, remember when Chris Evans said he was done being Captain America. I'm just saying, let's wait and see what happens. Let's see what number they slide across the table to her for. Exactly. Like, we'll give you. I think let that's me just put another zero hey, on this for the blue skin. And plus, she wasn't even. She was wearing a bodysuit in Days of Future Past. Oh, okay. Like there was there was a bodysuit in the first in the um, first class. I think it was all paint, mm-hmm. like uh, Rebecca Romaine did, but. In the second one, it was a bodysuit. They also so. play with it a little bit that she's not always in the blue. 
Sure. Like they're they're definitely you know well, you haven't heard facaded you know through most of it, which makes that a little bit easier and less special effects. So. Well, um, let's see. Yeah, Brian Singer was also noted as saying like uh, Apocalypse might be a good crossover mm-hmm. for them to start uh, swapping out some older characters from first class. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, this could be a good, well, I don't know if it's good, but this could be an interesting transition to getting maybe some new, I guess, versions of Cyclops, Jean Grey. Well, Jean Grey's, Jean Grey's Cyclops have already been cast. I don't, but the thing is, like, have they been signed on past the next movie? That I don't know, but I I would imagine, because they got um the actress who plays Sansa Stark on Game of Thrones to be Jean Grey. So it's not like they're going for, you know, chump change type people. They're really going for it. So Yeah. But I I mean I guess you could go from Apocalypse to like Fonka Johnson and James Morrison, but I don't see why you would. Because a lot's gonna have to happen to Xavier for him to lose his hair. <laughs> That's true. I mean, that that is uh, definitely a series that I am pretty excited about. So, I don't know. I I, I kind of put trust in the uh, director and that production studio. I will miss you, Jennifer Lawrence, if you do not come back. Um. Hey, Mike. Do you want to, or Sork? Do you want to pimp something? Oh, I'm sorry. I was reading this flyer here for Slice on Broadway. Did you know they got pizza at Slice on Broadway? Oh, and did you know, in arm's length of off-camera, there's a pizza right here from Slice on Broadway. Nice and warm, too. You like that? How's that? Sork. How's that action? Sork. You like that? So good. That's, that's just mean. Oh, I know. Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with good pizza. Um, they have been for about a year now at Sorgatron Media, helping out. Ashley's partaking, and she's been enjoying it, I'm yes. sure. I, or she's been lying to me. I don't know. No, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, she keeps coming back. I don't know why Malengo doesn't anymore. I think he's on a diet. Uh, but they got diet stuff. We can we can work that. Hey, um, Sorg, Sorg. Hmm. Hmm. I I I think I know someone else who might might have enjoyed Slice on Broadway. But would you like me to ask him? We'll ship it with your Daenerys Targaryen wig. Yes. yes. Um. But hello. <laughs> this is uh, this is Experiment Six Through Six, also known as Stitch. I've learned light years, light years, people, and there is nothing that Stitch enjoys more than Slice on Broadway in Pittsburgh. It is the best pizza Stitch has ever had, and Stitch has had pizza from the outer cosmos. Just remember, you go to Slice on Broadway, you tell them Stitch sent you. They won't know what that means, but it's fine, because (laughs) Slice on Broadway is part of the Supergatron family Ohana. Ohana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Ohana means, means family. family. I should probably watch Lilo and Stitch. You've never you should seen probably it? watch Lilo and Stitch. How have you not watched? Lilo I don't know and how Stitch. I've not. You've never. I so that's that. your homework for this week. That you have is, to watch you, Lilo you'll and thoroughly. What's it? Is it on? It. Isn't it on Netflix or something? I think so. I think it is. It, I think it's where that. It, might be. But this this is an ad for Slice on Broadway. Um, go check them out at sliceonbroadway.com or pgh underscore slice on the Twitter. And of course, Slice on Broadway on Facebook, Instagram. Tell them that you heard about them on the Rambling Movie Minute and Sorgatron Media. Malengo? All right. So to a segment we call What We're Watching or What We Should Be Watching. But um, bump. So uh, this week, Mad, or Mad Mike, it looks like you. Did you just now start watching Silicon Valley? I just finished watching the whole first season of it. Are you pleasantly surprised? Uh, I'm going to continue with it when it starts up back in April. Um, I'm I'm likening it to... Uh, I've been calling it Lantourage because that's kind of what it is. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's Entourage for guys who aren't getting laid. Interesting, interesting perspective. I mean, it's because you have you have a bunch of the characters have weird one word names. Uh, they they have a like very Mike. eccentric <laughs> person backing them. Like it, a lot. There are a lot of the same notes in there. There are a lot of the same beats. Yet strangely <laughs> surrounded by attractive women. A lot of people got laid in on. Oh, well, I guess you did say yes. So never mind. Yeah. I agree with what you said. Yeah. I, 
but uh, it, it was it was good. I liked it. I I was a little unsure about it, about maybe halfway in, but I, I'm like I'm gonna stick it out, I'm gonna see what happens. And by the end, it was like, oh okay, so Vinny Chase got the big part. I got it. All right. Vinny Chase is gonna be an Aquaman, so that that's what we're doing. <laughs> There's a spoiler at the end, but um, it the previews for season two are now on HBO, and it looks. It's going to be fun. So good. It's going to be so fun. Yes. They have, uh, to, they'd have to do a lot to mess this up. It feels like it's that vibe that I like the office space. Mm. Like just inexplicable uh, hardcore rap over white collar work is well, just I mean, the greatest. Damn it. it feels good to be a gangster. It feels good to be gangsta. <laughs> you know, I mean, well, I go, you know, the kind of music we used to bump to get into it when we were uh, sitting at our office jobs. And I'm sure you're, I'm sure you're still rocking the DMX or something over there. The DMX? <laughs> the DMX would do nothing to help me. Come Did you on. Down your cue I, know. Too? I, I don't know. think you're listening to DMX right then. I know you, Malengo. You're you're a 3D rough rider. Oh. <laughs> he knocks down his cue balls, too. I, I, I can see I, I can see Malengo like bouncing rider. off his cue balls going, <laughs> up in here, up in here. Unfortunately, there's no cue balls, but I've definitely uh, kicked over a thing or two in that office. Uh, <laughs> don't tell the boss. <laughs> Uh, hey, Mad Mike, it looks like yeah. you also watched uh, 300 and the horrible Rise of an Empire. Yeah, I'm not sure why I watched it. Uh, it was on HBO when I happened to be starting to eat lunch today, and I'm like, oh, okay, why not? Uh, so gratuitous about everything possible, mm-hmm. except story. Uh, there was no story. <laughs> Yeah, there was no story. Like, but if you like uh, swords, boats, and boobs, yes, there were a lot of boobs. This is a movie for you. I, you know, if you want to see Cersei Lannister being a badass, you know, you have to wait to the end of the movie for that. But yeah, that happens. She's in three hundred. Yeah, Lena Headey. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I also uh, watched one more thing. I forgot to put in the doc. I watched the debut episode of I Zombie. Oh, I did too. Uh, first two episodes. It's way better than I expected. Yeah, I, I didn't get to watch the fir- the second episode yet because I guess that's online or whatever. I just I'm just watching them when they come out. Okay. Uh, I liked it. Yeah. I liked it a whole lot. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It was it was a lot of fun. Um. I, I'm completely with you. Uh, the wife liked it. Um. It's it's on our watch list now. And I thought it was like ah, this will be weird and CW teeny kind of thing, but it, it's actually a lot of fun and a lot of comic influence to it too. I've noticed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, it is based off the comic book. Right. So. They, but, uh, yeah, it was a, definitely a different take on a zombie genre stuff, which is good, because I'm not that huge on zombie stuff. Like, that's why I like Zombieland, because it's not really about zombies. It's more about a socially awkward dude who somehow invented Facebook and can kill zombies. And will also be Lex Luthor. But anyway, uh, yeah, I Zombie is really good. I, nice. I liked it a lot. I hope they can continue the momentum. Cool. CW has been busting out a lot of good stuff recently. They take, I think, they take more risks on CW since it is like that fifth tier network. Um, yeah. So I, I think that's part of it. They, they let them go, and they're hitting a whole different seg- segment than like a CBS Fox is. So they can do something fun like that for for and and we like the same things as the Teeny Boppers apparently. So well, and plus they like they have shows. They have a lot of. Like, it reminds me of the old WB. Like, they would have good lead-ins to other shows. Like, Flash is a great lead-in to Zombie, because you've already got in that mindset. Like, mm-hmm. And then they have Arrow leading into Supernatural. Again, another good crossover. Like, they they know what they're doing with that stuff. Hmm. Certainly. Um, so, Ashley, did you watch the... Uh, is, was that the finale of Girls? It, yeah. Absolutely, oh it was. And it was. That's so the worst good. ending ever. I but liked anyway, it. Uh, mm-hmm. so what did you think well, of so Girls? <laughs> no, I thought this was its best season yet. Honestly, oh I yeah. Think, I think they're all starting to finally mature. Whereas in the past, it sometimes they were just a little bit annoying. They were whiny, but now I think they're all you know, their characters are coming full circle. I think. So I enjoyed the season. I think it was great. I cannot believe it's going to be another ten months until it's back on. Uh, oh, that's but okay. Game we of, get game to of, replace it with uh, game, game of, of Thrones, Thrones in Silicon Valley. <laughs> game of Thrones. I'm counting the days. 
So I am so excited. And I, I had a mini marathon yesterday. Yes. I think it was Mashable. They had Snapchat's videos from the Game of Thrones red carpet premiere uh, of like last night or the night before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it looked like it was a lot of fun. Uh, I want to be on that show. <laughs> I don't know as what. I don't care as what. I just want to be on that show. As long as you're not living in that world, because let's be honest, that's a crappy world to live in. Yeah. I would hate to be in that. Like Between oh, yeah. that world or Marvel, New York City, I would never want to live in either of those places. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty because much the same Jesus, thing. Jesus. Like, you're always, like, you can't even be a soft-spoken guy, because then you're just going to get killed by a White Walker or a Skrull or something. <laughs> let's look at it this way. The people that you, you witness in Game of Thrones, a series, are the ones that are the better off. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's rough. <laughs> uh, Ashley, did you uh, did you watch any movies? I rewatched Interstellar, and oh. I think if I watch it every day for the rest of my life, I might understand it at some point. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I I love that movie. It's so visually amazing. Now I know nothing about quantum physics or. The theory of relativity or anything, but I, I really do enjoy the movie. It's one that I can watch over and over. All you need to know is that Matthew McConaughey likes spaceships that are Lincolns, and that's it. <laughs> I really hope that's the plot of it. I've never seen it. <laughs> oh, you've never no, seen I re- it? No, I, I choose not to. No, choose that not was to? a conscious effort not to go see it. I don't know. It, it it didn't appeal to me. Like I'll probably see it when it comes on HBO, just because I, I saw three hundred the three hundred sequel. I might as well see Interstellar when it comes to HBO. There you go. I feel like if you've seen Inception or yes, Inception, then you've kind of seen Interstellar. Really? Well, they're, both Chris- they're both Christopher Nolan. Uh, I mean, he's yeah, a very true. inventive director. I, I, I his his work is very unique. Except when it comes to Batman. Anyway. I like his version of Batman. <laughs> that was the pre-podcast. <laughs> uh, hey, Sork. So you yes. saw a lot of stuff. I saw some stuff. Okay. Uh, uh, John Wick, I saw. Hey, if you if you have a Chromecast, look up Chromecast offers, and it'll connect you. You have to be on a computer or on the browser on the same network and actually connect to verify your Chromecast, and you'll get free stuff. I, check every, I try to check it like once a month. I got a free rental, so I picked up John Wick, and I did a review. You can check that out on timetoramble.com. I enjoyed it. I'll just leave it at that. Um, otherwise, Supernatural. But, but Sorg, Sorg. Yes. Was he back? Because from from the trailers, yeah. all I could tell was, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm back. You can, yeah, and also if you like dogs, you're not gonna like the beginning of this movie. Oh um, yeah, he, he mm-hmm, gets a dog mm-hmm, at the end. Th- 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 yeah, yeah, it turns around, but all I can watch is like, wow, my mom might like this movie a little bit. I'm like, nope, oh. nope, 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 nope. Um, anyways, I, I finished House of Cards. Great, awesome, loved it. Um, it, it came around. I I, enj- I think I enjoyed and understood more of this season than last. So there's that. Um, and I said this to somebody, I think it's partly because I have seen White House shows. I understand more how that branch of the government internally works from West Wing, say, and other stuff uh, versus maybe not so much in like other parts of government that they were dealing with before. And it's just uh, it's just one of those shows that, again, is so intricate with the subterfuge that that um, that, you know, it's just hard for me to follow those kinds of things. Supernatural. We're going into season four really enjoying that some of the fun episodes that my my my, my sister and my my nephew told me about uh, around christmas so i love that we're getting into that now uh, i'm breakable kimmy schmidt i have finished uh really good if you like again if you like 30 rock you'll love this one um stick with it and i think you'll be rewarded by the end of it so uh and that's it for me i love the cool. titles of um that show just like yeah kimmy- Kimmy gets a dog, or Kimmy goes to get coffee, or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kimmy love makes it. them waffles. Kimmy I makes some waffles. Yeah. I haven't watched it yet, but those titles are very. It's so quick. Like the first seven, like we were talking about last week, the first seven episodes are like twenty minutes each, and it's maybe like twenty-five or so minutes for the rest of them. So it's just a nice, quick bite. So, mm-hmm. um, Sorg, Sorg, one show you need to you need to start watching to get ready for June, Entourage. <laughs> I'll fit that in by June. That's that's not happening. It's not happening. You can do they're, that. Yeah, they're quick. They're quick episodes. They're quick episodes. We'll see. I got a lot of stuff on the list. <laughs> anyway. Um. Yeah. I. I. Uh, I rewatched Skyfall. I don't know. I was just feeling like it. I enjoyed it. 
it made me happy, even though it had a very depressing ending. Um, and then I also finished because I was late. Empire. Um, this is one of those weird Dude. shows that yeah. I want to like um, because uh, I like Terrence Howard. They have a lot of strong characters mm-hmm. in this, but the writing for this is just like. We need a reason. <laughs> I keep hearing so many good things about that show. It's insainly popular, isn't it's, it? It is. Uh, yeah. oh, they were saying, well, you probably heard this too, Malengo. Uh, Corey Carter was saying that uh, this is the first show, I think, ever or in decades, that mm-hmm. is trending upwards in ratings since the premiere. Hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. every show does a drop off. And this I mean, I guess not. you got to credit the writing for that because it can't just be. Like, I don't know if it's because of the music, because Glee had that same effect where it seemed like people just kept coming back because of the music and they're like oh where are they going to play this week and then you know they added the story underneath that i don't know i think it also helps that they kind of debuted when every show was on a hiatus yeah i mean that definitely helps i mean all right so without without trying to seem like uh wish washing like it's an entertaining show so i'd say watch it if you are like it, it's very it's very hip hop urban ish, so if you're into that kind of stuff, I'd say watch it. If you want to see Terrence Howard be a really bad father, <laughs> I mean you can check it out there. There, I mean the the character roles are very interesting, but after like I finished the series and I don't know if I'm gonna watch season two, so that's that's where I'm left with that. All right, so. Real quick, so that is what we were watching and what we should be watching. Um, this week, we will be doing an interview with the director, Julie Sokolo- uh, not Julie, I'm just going to say Julie. I'm sorry, Julie. On uh, Aspie Seeks Love. I did watch that uh, movie on Saturday. Um, and so I'm very excited to do, to do the review for the roundtable. Ashley, have you had a chance to watch it yet? I'm going to tonight. I promise. Yeah. So I'm very to. excited I'm about that. You can find <laughs> the – someone talking? Nope. Okay. You can find that podcast on uh, Time to Ramble when we when we do it and release it, and it hopefully it will be awesome, that interview. It will be awesome. <laughs> will be awesome. All right. So, uh, so where can we find you guys this week if we wanted to – Mad Mike, if I wanted to – Hit you up on something and let you know how awesome Frozen was only when Olaf was there. How would I do that? Stitch impersonation. Well, if you want to talk to Mad Mike, which I know why you would, because he's awesome, uh, you go to Mad Mike 483 on the Twitter machines, or you can stay tuned for the Wrestling Mayhem show tonight on SurgotronMedia.com. Nice. Yay. Ashley, where can we find you? I am on Twitter at Don't Mace With Me, and I only have 32 followers, so I need more. <laughs> Follower. <laughs> it's a call to action. Well, it's a superb yeah. tweeter, by the way, for being early. I know. New to it. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Well, really good tweet. Also, Ashley will start, be, uh, start writing reviews for Time to Ramble. And yeah. that can also be, you'll have like your own little spot. We're still trying to figure out the final name for your little section. Okay. So it's just not called Ashley's Corner. But we'll be looking forward to that. Do you know what the first movie you're going to review is? No. No? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Bombshell. Short Circuit <laughs> 2. No. Never. <laughs> yes. Never. Never. Sorg, where can we find you? Find everything sorgatronmedia.com. Just start there or mikesorg.com. I'm just going to leave it at that. There's a lot going on right now. Sister Sorella, if you're interested in theater and sitcoms as theater, uh, the, I, I had a chance to go film episode two with uh, 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 Will, DJ Lunchbox from Panel Riot and Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, that just went up over there. Um, really good, really talented, uh, no-name players uh, doing their show. And they're actually doing a show this weekend if you're interested in the Pittsburgh area. Um, go look up um, no-nameplayers.com, I think is the is the thing it's going to be linked on her on her youtube um but look up that sister sorella and it's great stuff cool and you can find me at rambling mango that's my twitter handle and uh also definitely check out our facebook page 
at uh, the Rambling Movie Minute. No, is that right? Somebody tell me, is that right? Yes, what? that's right. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Uh, you can check that out. We like to post up a lot of interesting stuff related to movies, trailers, basically anything that's on our mind related to that stuff. So that's awesome. Definitely go follow us there and join in, in the conversation. Uh, with that, that's it for the Rambling Movie Minute. And until next week, have a Rambling Movie Weekend. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Let's talk tech. Tech news discussions from the people in the industry right here in Pittsburgh. Online, gadgets, startups, and more. Check it out at awesomecast.net.